Hello and welcome to a mod spotlight. Um, this is honestly a uh, mod that I worked on my, uh, personally. Uh, it's it's pretty neat. It's not a very big mod, but um, it has a lot as far as um, what it adds to Minecraft. Um, well, let's get into it. Uh, the base of the mod is that you can provide blueprints uh, for players to build and construct and it gives them a time limit to do so and if you complete the structure and under the time limit um, you win otherwise you lose so it's it's pretty cool um, it's gone a long ways from uh, its original design but we'll talk about the history at the end of the video uh, so pretty much in creative mode you get a uh, couple of items here um, pretty much this mod uses the power of creative mode to be its own editor, so it's, it's not too difficult to work with. Um, the pencil allows you to create blueprints by selecting blocks and um, turning them into blueprints. The rubber, or the eraser, um, does the opposite. It turns blueprint blocks into uh, regular blocks. Uh, the connection wire connects all the, uh, the hubs together to create the scenario. Um, the game hub is the master. Everything starts with this. This will connect with everything else via the uh, connection wires and the building hub allows you to um, place that down and then you can build just um, the structure and then store it in the mods data to be used at a later time or wherever. It's, it's actually pretty cool. The team hub allows you to set up the different teams so that you can have competitive play online in multiplayer. So I'm just going to grab these real quick. And the wood as well because I have a little example here. We're going to string it together. There are also some um, additional blocks that the players can create that are craftable such as the penalizer. This allows you to sabotage the other team's structure. Um, it's, it's pretty neat. You get stuff like uh, creepers, lightning, um, zombies, I think is the other one. Um, as you play and uh, construct your building, you get more money. So um, doing so will allow you to buy more things. Um, the next one is the protector, which allows you to protect your blocks from harm. Um, either being destroyed by other players or traps or whatever. It's a gunpowder surrounded by stone. Uh, the, yeah, like this one is just a sword surrounded by stone. And then the shop, which allows you to trade with other players using the in-game coin currency. Uh, it's just three wood, redstone, iron, redstone, and three more wood. And it gives you the shop. And then you have a team chest, which is a ch chest uh, surrounded by redstone. You get the uh, team chest, which um, only you and your team can open it. And you can trade items and stuff like that that way. So it's protected. And then you have the blueprint finder, which is a compass surrounded by uh, redstone. And what's neat about that is it'll always guide you to the nearest uh, uh, blueprint. Now I'm currently not connected to a uh, any sort of team or anything like that, so it's currently not pointing towards anything at all. Um, when I do connect to something, it will um, it will start pointing to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to um, start a blueprint. So you would build your structure. I just built this little wall here, and you would place down a. Um, I do believe I need to be in creative mode for this. Yes. So in creative mode, you um, click the building hub with the uh, pencil, and you can connect to the building hub. And then you select an area, and it'll turn your structure into blueprints. To erase the structure, you just do it with the eraser, and you can do section at a time, it can get quite detailed. It's, it's pretty slick. It's really easy to use. Um, blueprints are not solid. Uh, things will pass straight through them. Uh, oddly enough, they still block light, but that's, that's so not an issue. Um, it's pretty cool. So you would have this uh, 
this uh, building thing here, the uh, building hub. So then you would give it a name like example wall, and you would save it. So when you destroy the uh, the um, blueprint, uh, the blueprint hub, or building hub rather, um, it would destroy all the blueprints with it. So um, that's a neat feature. It's easy to clean up as well. So in the creative menu, you notice at the top it says one of two. If you flip over, uh, the build to win uh, mod blocks each. It, it has its own tab. So all the stuff that you need is right here. So um, yep, really easy to set up. So we'll just go with the uh, game master. I already have one here. And I'll just go, bam, right there. Now since we stored that wall, uh, we're gonna um, set this up. And we're just going to load our example wall. All right, so now it's loaded. Then you do a connection wire and then a team hub. So then, oops, a little preemptive there. There we go. So this would be on the blue team. If we continue it a little bit further, we can make it for, let's see if it works. I think it needs to go around. Yeah. Well, let's see. It's a little weird. There we go. Now we got a blue team and a red team. Now you could hide these wires underneath the ground. You can do a number of things to uh, um, remedy how this all looks. It's not that difficult to work with. Let's see, and then we have red team. So now we have blue team wall, red team wall, and a green team wall. And on this, you could set a number of days, say five days to complete, or three days to complete, and um, this is accessible um, in, um, in survival mode. The mod sort of changes a little bit when you're in survival, because it's meant to be set up by somebody in creative, and... Um, like a like a team or a game master then uh, like an admin or something from a server they can set up arenas for this and then anyone can come by and they can connect to these um, these hubs let's say I want to be on green team I just go over here and punch the green block and it lights up saying I'm connected to this team hub now you'll notice all the blocks that I'm connected to will turn green even in these uh, these picture frames here they all um, turn green with my color. If I um, disconnected from this and went to blue, or trying to go to blue, there we go, blue. All my stuff turns blue. And even the, uh, the uh, um, blueprint compass, or the blueprint finder, will point towards my team stuff. Come on. This one, there we go. See? That pretty, that's pretty cool. So that's how you would set up a game. And you could uh, simply just click start. And you'll notice in the corner it says um, uh, the, uh, how much time I have and how much percentage of the building I've completed. And then um, it shows the other team's uh, percentages as well. And uh, last but not least, it shows the... Uh, the amount of, I don't need to punch a tree, the amount that my other teams are at and the amount of money I'm at. So I can just uh, click this and as I uh, complete these structures I also get experience. So the better you do the more experience you get and then you can enchant your items and get god tier stuff. Now I complete the structure so it gives me a little win thing here and the game starts over. Oh yeah, um, yeah, it'll work. I just need to reconnect the wire. It does work. <laughs> so, ah, oh, I didn't just do that. Luckily, it's easy to use because I could just plunk that down. And it comes right back because <laughs> it's connected to this. I mean, it's very versatile. It's very um, easy to use once you understand it, but it's it's far less complicated than tech it. So, um... Yeah, so you would have a scenario or something. This was originally designed to be just for single player, but 
the brilliant minds of uh, Cafaxo and, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, Useless Flaw. All right, Useless Flaw was a, uh, a major helper on the project as well. So, yep. So, originally it was designed for, let's see, let me just go ahead and start this, and while I'm building the structure, I'll, um, how can I access this? Well, that's odd. Oh, there we go. All right, so we're going to build this structure. You know, I got three days to do it. I don't have any tools or anything. It requires quite a bit of stone, etc. Um, while I was uh, working on this, uh, Cafaxo got quite a few ideas, and we implemented just about every one of them because they were really good. Um, one of the few things that happened first was the ability to take this into multiplayer, where... Um, teams would compete with one another. Originally it was meant to be for single player and when I designed it over a year ago um, it was just that in mind. So I guess in a way it's sort of evolved into something far more than what it was uh, originally designed. Which is cool, I mean that's always a good thing to see how people like your idea and they want to just make sure it's the best. So, uh, let's turn that junk off. <coughs> so, originally it was just uh, supposed to expand upon single player by allowing people to make scenarios and uh, share them online with other people and be sort of a bridge between Minecraft um, building and adventure mode. Um, it can be just that. It can be all of that. and It can be so much more with the multiplayer because then it turns the uh, competitive aspect in as well. So I'm just going to get some wood tools and speed things along a little bit because i got to get work and I only have three days to do this. Um, it can... this pretty much completely changes how you uh, play Minecraft because you now have to do everything with uh, speed. You have to do everything quickly. Which Minecraft has always been a very casual game. Um, adding an element of uh, panic, I guess, to the mod, or to the game with the mod, um, completely changes how you play. Like, you wouldn't try and hunt down um, iron or diamond or anything like that you would just go with what's convenient for the time. Oops. Yeah, so one of the challenges with this structure is finding coal and making smooth stone to lay out the floor. Uh, I probably should start with that rather than wood. Uh, a good strategy with this is to actually go with the most difficult parts first. I know um, I did a, while well, testing this actually, I did a NPC village and one of the hardest elements of the, uh, um, the structures to do was the bookshelves because I couldn't come up with enough books because it takes, um, it takes uh, uh, leather, which I need cows for, and then it takes uh, um, the uh, paper as well. So it was uh, really difficult to get those uh, resources abundantly enough to make all the bookshelves. I just want to make sure... No, I am not on normal. Oh. Peaceful mode in Minecraft? What am I, some kind of noob? Anyway. So there are certainly some challenges involved in trying to get some of the more basic things. You'd never think a bookshelf would be that difficult, but in turn it actually is. Um, players, when they uh, make new maps, they can manipulate the environment as much as they want. Um, a good example is simply a uh, map where you start with 
a single piece of sponge and you have to just simply race across the terrain to a certain location and place that sponge at a certain position and then you win. The trouble, the difficulty is to just simply get there on time. That's an example. You could um, do the same as go through a dungeon and try find something or um, any structure you could think of could be built as well like boats, airplanes, um, any any task in Minecraft that you would need to build and you would have to do it in under um, a time limit as well so that's uh, that's where the mod is. I'm just babbling. <laughs> I'm not really good at making Minecraft videos. So the history of the mod is is interesting because over a year ago I had the idea and the idea originally came from when I um, first picked up Minecraft, everybody was talking about survival single player, survival multiplayer. I thought there was actually a story mode. So when I clicked single player, it just threw me into a, a world and I didn't know what to do. I thought there was something I was supposed to build or something like that. I thought it was, there was literally some kind of uh, um, task at hand. And I came from a uh, background of playing games like uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, which is sort of a sandbox game, but it does give you some kind of goal and stuff like that. So it, it was kind of a foreign concept. Well, not too foreign, but it was odd Al, to uh, play something so open like this. And I, I love the game. I absolutely love this game, but... Um, it just threw me for a loop when I fr absolutely first per picked it up. So, come on. Uh, I need more wood. Navigating the blueprints isn't too hard. You just need to keep track of what you're doing. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. <laughs> Experience everywhere. <laughs> the experience uh, stuff might need to be nerfed a little bit. That being said, everybody's going to be like, "No, don't nerf it." Well, think of the servers, children. Actually, if I if we don't nerf it, that's going to be the whole reason why people like it so much. Well, when I'm done with this, um, we'll see exactly how much um, how much uh, I can enchant and just sort of see what we can make. Uh, let's see. I need to think about uh, well. Another interesting aspect I haven't talked about yet is night. Because a whole lot of things can happen at night. If uh, my structure gets destroyed, I go backwards in progress. You can't actually destroy the blueprints, but you can destroy the blocks that cover them up. So I can actually go in reverse should uh, a creeper or something uh, destroy a part of my, hook, my, uh, my structure. Um, unfortunately, that would be bad. So I gotta. I I have the uh, the option to sleep at night or not. Now sleeping at night does progress the days because it's it, it's in days, the timer. So um, the timer's in days. So when uh, when I sleep, I lose time, which is bad. However, I don't have to deal with the monsters. So. Usually in the beginning, if I'm feeling comfortable with my progress, like I have quite a quite a bit of time left, um, quite a bit of time left, I could easily, I could very easily uh, sleep the first couple of nights. But if I'm starting to run short on time, I might stay up all night. So uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna need a door. Oop, am I stuck? What am I stuck on? Well, this is new. We don't know if we've gotten all the bugs fixed yet, but it's still pretty, uh, pretty solid. There we go. Oh, we shouldn't be jumping like that anyway. I'm, I've been focused on building. I haven't thought about food. I haven't thought about um, hardly anything. Let's see, I can't put down the doors until I get the stone. Uh, gee. Oh boy. Um, I think I kind of boned myself with this one. Let's go ahead and make some shovels and just go ahead and dig. dig right here. Okay. We're gonna get some stone real quick. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. <laughs> it's so dark. creepers. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. This could get very hairy very quick. Luckily, uh, we got some stone, we got some, uh, some sticks, some coal. There we go, now everybody can see what I'm doing. We got really lucky with this coal vein. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this in uh, three days. I thought that would have been plenty of time. But we gotta cook a ton of smooth stone and, uh, well, get that done. Good thing it's not a super advanced structure that requires glowstone or any of that, because that would have been uh, far more difficult to try and do than um, the just the basic stuff. I wish I had somebody to play with. That'd make this far more interesting. Not that I really have time to play this that much. I'm just sort of screwing around. I'm actually waiting on a couple of phone calls, but... Oh well. I can't believe I'm level 35. If I die, I'm screwed. Oh, uh, some of you might be wondering what the seed is. Um, it's actually a customly created map using the uh, uh, World Painter, I believe. Yeah, World Painter uh, map editor. It's a really nice little um, little um, app, I guess, for making um, custom maps. I've been using that so I can get some pretty unique worlds and then um, make unique worlds and then put the uh, scenarios on that you know cuz why not cuz spawning a perfect minecraft world for your structure or your um, scenario and stuff like that would be difficult but mm. It doesn't matter. Um, the 
make a bunch of furnaces and start uh, start making. Uh, beat you with a sapling. Come on. Die. <laughs> Shit just got real. Shit just got real. Oh cool, there's arrows stuck in me. I haven't played Minecraft in forever. Oh man, that sucked. I'm making another door. How do you make, how do I make a door? <laughs> some of this dirt I guess and make sort of a hut or something over oh god I hear it I hear it <laughs> uh, I haven't seen any sheep so I don't mind the wool if uh... yeah I don't mind the wool if I can get enough of it to make some uh, or the string rather I don't mind the string if I can get enough to make wool. Uh, suck on that. Ow. <coughs> Alright, we're 30% done. We're just about at the end of day one. Go ahead and put a chest down here actually. Just to store my things. I haven't thought about food yet either. Um, hopefully, I'm not screwed, but uh, hold on. I'm just gonna reset my thing. Alright. Hmm. Free bandy cam isn't too bad. It just does it in 10 minute blocks. So, alright, uh, let's see. Fertilizer for something. So I'll just keep hollowing this out. I still need the stone. There's no time to make anything pretty. charcoal. We'll use that to burn up the stone so that we have an abundant source, uh, abundant fuel source at least. There are caves and stuff on this map, I just haven't found them. And none of them are set to break the surface. So, yeah, I'll just reposition this a little bit. I'll stick it up on there. That looks nice. Yeah, I'm making charcoal. Alright. Should probably go see how much stone we need. It's almost daytime so I'm just going to let's see I need more wood I'm gonna make a shovel an axe Time to come. Can just throw some of these in the chest. There it is. Everything's dying around me. Cool. 
clear. All right. So let's see. I need, what do I need? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need about a stack of uh, smooth stone. That's reasonable enough. Now let's keep working on the wood aspects. <gasps> Pigs. I need food. Bacon. <laughs> the pig just erupted in pork chops. Alright. So at the end of the video I'll also show off the island. Um Yeah, it's a pretty neat little island. Can't even run, I'm so hungry. I haven't seen any sheep. All right, let's see. Cook up some food. It will be set for a while. We're actually running out of time. We need to move a lot quicker. Of course, everything takes time to do, like, you know, eating, sleeping, drinking, etc. There we go, get some health back. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and get that started. What, what did I just do? What was that? Get click something from the not enough items mod. All right, so we got some uh, some burning done. I don't think I need more. I said a stack, so I'll just do a stack. Put 60 in there, so. All right. I don't want to take all of my food with me. That would be bad if I died. So I'll just drop off some of that. Hmm. So I have a ways to go, so we need lots of wood, so we'll just go continue to chop down trees. With some very cleverly made scenarios, um, this this could actually be quite the uh, um, the series for Minecraft. So, if anyone out there is looking for uh, something new to do, and they love Minecraft and they're looking for something edgy, this would certainly be it. Especially if you do it with uh, with people and you do something uh, really big, like a big temple or castle or something. That would just be uh, I would love to see that, you know, um, worked pretty hard on this, uh, on this mod, you know, me, Kefaxo, and uh, Useless Flaw, we all did, so we would love to see this get out there, and uh, we would just like it to be appreciated. <laughs> we work hard on what we do, and we love it, you know, um, yeah, that being said, um, do it. Get out there and do it. Why not? So, all right, we got some more wood. Uh, let me see if there's any more log. Yeah, there's actually quite a few log parts that need to come in here. All right. Just 
when I get all the log parts done, because it's easier to do planks, because you get so many of them. I think there's a log part way up there. I just had something for scaffolding, like more dirt or something. Alright, I think that's all the log. I'm gonna have to go back up there anyways to get the roof done. So, let's see. <laughs> We're gonna need glass too. And slabs, lots of slabs. We're almost done with this. Well, almost half done with this, I would say. There's quite a quite a few parts left. I'm just going to grab some dirt and make a scaffold up to the roof because I'm going up there quite a bit now, so I'll just uh, dig up some dirt. Lots of experience. <laughs> Lots of experience. Periodically I get cut off by my recorder. Oh well. That's what you get for using uh, something for free. would be a lot more interesting if I had somebody to uh, talk with but doing it by myself it's not the best I gotta admit it's a little lonely 
but luckily I'll get paid for this job. <laughs> Being, you know, a Minecraft contractor and all that. Alright, that's the outside, the inside should be easy. It's almost the end of our uh, second day. The uh, timer started sort of at a weird time, so it's not exactly going to be on the day. But it's close enough. I think it starts in the morning-ish. So we'll just... Uh, we're almost done. We'll try and get through the night. I don't know what else we can do. We don't have a bed, so we can't uh, sleep. We'll have to cook up some, uh, some glass pretty quick here. I'll do that in the morning. As long as I'm on the roof, I think I am rather safe. So we'll just uh, work on that. The, uh, the structure is mostly done. Like I could camp out on the inside of it. I just might too. To fill up the gap in uh, all this stuff, I might just uh, get some music going. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to get some music going. Hopefully that isn't uh, too bad. All right, we got the roof done. We'll venture out into the wild and get some sand, and we'll make some windows. Uh oh, skeleton. Hand. Our structure is starting to come together. Let's just take this scaffolding down. I should have did the music thing from the start. Let's check on our stone and see uh, how much we have. There's 15, there's 15. We might have enough. There we go. We'll start plunking these down. Get those doors. Made these doors first thing and now... <laughs> took forever to use them. Much experience just littered everywhere. Let's see, get some doors in there. Oops. Uh, of course, if I break it, it turns into cobble. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Good thing I'm not required to grab a uh, colored wool or anything. Oh, we got it! That's all of it. Oop, missing a piece of wood here. Is that our last bit? No. Something missing. 
Ah! Oh, fuck! Fuck! <laughs> you saw it here first, people! <laughs> oh my god, that sucks so hard. Oh, I didn't even do the windows. Oh my... Oh, the huge hole. You fucking kidding me? <laughs> I think I died a little inside. And died a lot in Minecraft. <laughs> I am so sad. Oh my god. I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't stop laughing about it. Oh my god. Oh man, you saw it here first. <laughs> this is bullshit! Okay, calm down. Stay focused. <laughs> We're not too bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Did I just misplace the door? Yeah, I put it on the outside. Oops. Luckily I got my compass back. I wouldn't want to make one of those. There we go. Uh, let's see. Get a torch down in here. I guess it's the windows that's left. <coughs> Wait, yeah, I still have sand. Okay. Let's uh, burn some wood. I don't need any more, so I'm done for that. I almost wish there was more I can do, because I just need the windows and that's it, I think. Should have made a more ambitious uh, structure. <laughs> okay. Maybe three days was appropriate for this. <laughs> oh man. Bandicam is trolling me. I just stepped away for a second to restart it, and that that happened to me. Glad I don't need like something like an iron block. Oh man, I need logs now. Anything? Nope. Paranoid now. All right, I only lost a couple logs. We're almost down to our uh, the last day here. If I I was thinking about putting it at uh, two days, but if it was at two days, I'd probably lose this. But <coughs> almost done. If this was put at two days, I would have been so screwed right now. <coughs> Excuse me, I do have a bit of a illness right now, so... Some glass panes. Something's missing. What's missing? Oh, really? Really? How did I miss that? Oh, fuck you! Yeah, that's 
right. done with this. Two, one. Ha! Ah, we did it! We did it! Yes! Ah. Well, we could do it again if we wanted to, but I'm not going to. <laughs> that was insane! That was really boring for a while there, and then it picked up. Oh man, someone has to make a series of this. Uh, I would love to have the uh, the uh, the time to build the scenarios right now, but somebody's gonna have to build them for me, I guess, because I I just don't have that kind of time. So uh, I've been Rimrook. This has been the Build to Win mod. Hopefully, I've shown everything and how exciting it can be. Um, yeah, I hope everybody enjoys this mod very much so, because we put a lot of effort into getting this thing done, and it took a long time uh, to iron out all the kinks and stuff like that. Um, I spent a lot of time in designing the mod to make it, uh, to make it fun, so hopefully everybody enjoys it. So check it out, I'll leave a, uh, um, a descriptions and download links and all that stuff. Um, comment, rate, share, and subscribe, and I'm out. <laughs>